Welcome to your week seven edition of Head to Head. It's Auburn, it's LSU in Baton Rouge and the Auburn Tigers looking for their first win in Death Valley since 1999. And she's Lauren Sisler and I'm Kevin Skarbinski. And you know, Lauren, they called that game the cigar game. For the loser this week, it'll be the exploding cigar game. Kevin, when you look at how much this Auburn offense has progressed this season, it really is impressive. 23.7 points per game is what they were averaging in the first three games of the season. They lose to Clemson. Everybody wants to write them off. Next thing you know, they're averaging 48 points per game. But when you go up against this LSU defense, this is going to be a much tougher defense, more elite defense that we've seen. Their front seven, their linebackers, obviously a lot of, uh, of physicality from these guys. So I think the run game is going to be a lot more difficult in this one. So I think that we're going to really need to see Jarrett Siddham open up the playbook, get some explosive plays downfield. And as we know, in this hostile environment in Baton Rouge, it's going to be a tough place to play. And this LSU team, a little bit up after that Florida win last week. Yeah, that was an, a good sign for Ed Orgeron that his players had not quit on him. Yeah. That they were able to go in the swamp and win. But that was a battle of two mediocre offenses and not bad defenses. LSU's not as good as it was a few years ago when they were a lead on defense. But that's the best part of this team. Devin White, elite, their linebacker, leads the SEC with 10 tackles per game. Arden Key hasn't been what he used to be, but they get after the quarterback. And that's going to be key for this Auburn 20 offensive line. 20 sacks this season so far for this LSU defense. And what happened the last time Auburn went to a Death Valley, the other Death Valley, they couldn't keep Jarrett Stidham upright. That's going to be key in this game. But the Auburn offense, as you said, Lauren, keeps getting better and better. Mm -hmm. They lead the SEC 7.69 yards a play. They're the only offense in the SEC in the top four in the league in total offense, scoring offense, rushing offense, passing offense, the big four categories on that side of the ball. So they continue to improve. Carryon Johnson might be the MVP in the SEC for the first half of the season if he can stay healthy. And, and he might be 100% this, this, this go around. He looked a lot better last week than he did the week before. So if he continues to get better and get carries, and he will, and Jared Stidham keeps doing the things he does, again, if they can keep him on his feet, then Auburn should be able to score some points. But strange things happen when Auburn goes to Baton Rouge. Okay, Kevin, it is prediction time. And while I don't think there will be as many points scored in this football game, I think Auburn has a real chance here. It's going to be a defensive warfare, but they've got to take care of the football and they've got to get off to a fast start. That's been a problem that plagued them early in the season, but Gus Malzahn has reiterated, you've got to get out to a fast start. And as you said before, crazy things can happen in Baton Rouge, so that is going to be very important if they want to get the win. I'm calling it, though, Auburn wins 24-13. Well, one thing that won't be weird, or actually will be weird for LSU, is this is a day game, not not a night game. They don't like to play in the sunshine in Baton Rouge. They like to play after dark. Death Valley after dark is their thing. Uh, that should help Auburn. The crowd won't be as juiced up, even though Ed Orgeron ur urged everyone to put a little something in their coffee in the morning to get juiced <laughs> up for the game. Nice of a head coach in the SEC to encourage drinking before a football game, right? But that's Ed O. Uh, look, this Auburn team is better than LSU. It's better on offense. It's better on defense. It has a better coaching staff, starting with the head coach. Speaking of the head coach, did you know, did you realize, I did some really deep research earlier this week. Okay. 18 of Gus Malzahn's first 29 games at Auburn, the Tigers were ranked in the top 10. That's pretty good, right? Good. Pretty good percentage. Of the last 30 games, they've been in the top 10 just once, that Georgia game last year, and they got embarrassed over in Athens. They're back in the top 10, number 10 this week in the AP poll. Can they play like a top 10 team? Can they live up to that build, billing? Can they put a stop to this ridiculously long losing streak in Baton Rouge? I say yes. I say it's not close. Auburn 27, LSU 10. Lauren, did you know that Auburn now has three straight SEC wins by 20 points or more? That's the first time the Tigers have done that since 1987. Jeff Berger was the Auburn quarterback. Well, it's funny you should say that because this is the first time in program history that Auburn has scored at least 40 points in three consecutive SEC games. That's impressive. First time in program history? First time. Let's see, since 1987, history. History wins every time. 